HTSLR Shooters coverage of Cinegear 2015. Brought to you by Akidio, Adamas, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, ICANN, JVC, Sir, and Zylite. Hi, Clint with HTSLR Shooter here at Cinegear 2015. Here with Tina Ekman of Black Magic Design and well, it just seems like a few weeks ago we were just talking, but you know we wanted to touch base and see like how are things going, uh, and uh, just uh, talk a little bit about uh, these uh, two new cameras that you guys are coming out with here very soon. Yeah, we've got a, quite a range, obviously, from NAB when we were discussing, but the most popular items here at Cinegear are definitely um, this Mini Ursa, which is right here, Ursa Mini. Um, great camera, such a nice new form factor from us. Takes advantage of our new 4.6 sensor along with the 4.0 sensor, depending on which one you want. So there's been a ton of people here, especially yesterday, just waiting to see it, feel it, look at the form factor. A huge hit, a lot of excitement. And then we also have our two um, micro cameras, which you can see is the camera's just this back part underneath this gorgeous lens from Olympus. Uh, really small size of a baseball, basically, and people are really excited about this one as well. Um, gorgeous images. Our other sensors, uh, basically the same sensor as our pocket camera for this one. So 13 stops of dynamic range, 19, 20, 1080. Really excited to be able to get this in people's hands, fly it wherever they're going to put it with this nice form factor as well. Messi, uh, it is. It's extremely light. Uh, the the. And this uses SD cards as well, right? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. So this one is SD. We have a similar sister camera, so to speak, is the studio, which is a live camera, SDI out. So depending on what your needs are, we've got both areas covered. This one actually is CFast cards. So again, depending on what you're doing, but because the, as you're getting into the higher frame rates um, and the CFast cards, you can work together um, dual CFast cards. So you can put uh, content on both cards at the same time, which is nice. So you've got kind of that... Um, faster frame rate availability to you. Is there a price point on the, the Mini yet? Um, the micro camera? Micro. <laughs> I know, it's micro mini. Um, the, this one is $1,000.995, and then this this camera starts at the 3000 price. Now let's talk about this one a little bit. It's uh, it's essentially the same as the Ursa, but it is not upgradable like the Ursa. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, there's a few key differences, and that's definitely one of them. It's not user upgradable. So you'll make a decision about which sensor choice, 4.6 or 4.0. And then you'll pick your mount, EF or PL. There's definitely some things missing from this camera as far as the overall body style because of the size and the weight reduction. So this camera weighs about five and a half pounds, whereas the Ursa, the original one, weighs about 17 pounds. Um, but we have the five inch monitor fly out here on the side, but you'll notice we don't have the touch screen here. So we just have the one monitor, again, reducing some of the weight. So you've got your CFast cards and, and all that functionality, still have full XLR, um, still have the port out on the other side for um, SDI, we can spin it around. So the SDI out and reference in, time code in here, have the controls so that you can hook up our new electronic viewfinder, which is also on this camera. And so just lighter overall. This rosette here is for the trigger handle that normally when it ships, it's on this part. However, we have an expansion pack on this one as well. We're, we're into accessories now, if you hadn't noticed. Um, we have a handle, a quick release plate, and this expansion arm so that you can move the trigger down below for quick release onto your shoulder, and it's a much more comfortable, balanced feel with the camera. So I see two other buttons that are on there besides record. Uh, uh, what, what else do you have? Yeah, so obviously we have record and then the iris and focus button, so if your lens is appropriate, then you can control that right from the trigger, which is nice. Excellent, and it has all of the uh, BNC connectors here in the back? Correct, correct. So 12 volts, SDI out, reference in, time code in, same battery as the other camera as well, so that you, if you are using both cameras, you've got you know IDX or Anton Bauer, and then I always forget, but the audio are up here at the top, in case I didn't mention that before, the XLR port's up here at the top of the camera. And it still has uh, the V-mount on it, right? Mm, yes, the, yeah, exactly. So, and then this is the, ex the expansion quick release plate as well. Does the handle come with uh, the camera, or is that an accessory? The trigger comes with the, ha the camera. This handle does not. So the handle, this plate, and this expansion arm that the trigger is on right now is the accessory that's $300, so reasonable for sure. But it does make it, if you're, if you're going to run and gun with this camera, which most people I think will, it's kind of a needed accessory, I think. Um, and then this viewfinder is an accessory as well, just making sure people understand. So the camera as purchased would be basically just the body um, and the trigger handle itself. But the um, 
electronic viewfinder is also new and will work with our other camera as well. Um, 1920, 1080 OLED display, gorgeous, gorgeous eyepiece. Three programmable buttons on the top that actually have six different functions. Left eye, right eye focus, everything you would need in a viewfinder. It's beautiful, and uh, you know, again, now we have the entire workflow. We have, uh, you know, we have, you know, stunt cameras essentially. You know, uh, we've got a running gun here, and then you know, something more major like the Ursa, and then of course the tele uh, the studio cameras that we have. Talk a little bit about uh, now you can cut with uh, with a DaVinci or pending, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so actually we announced at NAB both um, updates for Resolve 12 and for Fusion. Um, starting with Fusion, that's our node-based video effects editor. So if you're doing amazing effects out in the field, you can get in there and, and work with that, do compositing, tracking, um, particle system that's great in that application. We announced Mac, Windows, and Linux in September. Um, in July, DaVinci 12 will be coming out, and that is additional features into our color, but a ton of new features in editing. And I think that a lot of editors out there, you know, they were happy with 11 and the progress we were making, but it wasn't quite enough. I think 12 will be that push over the top where they're like, okay, it's an editor now. And we have things like multicam, we have audio support, our AAF support is better, our XML round tripping is better. Uh, we have just keep adding more and more features in there. 3D tracking, keying, a keyer that's fantastic. So I think that you know a lot of people will be really thrilled with the, um, all the keyboard shortcuts and everything else that we've been adding in there behind the scenes with 12, and it's July. July, excellent. People want to find out more, what do they do? Blackmagicdesign.com. Thanks, Tina. Sure, thank you so much. HD SLR Shooters coverage of Cinegear 2015. Brought to you by Akidio, Atomos, Blackmagic Design, Carl Zeiss, ICANN, JVC, Sir, and Xylite.